Hello, amazing artists. Today we are going to work with clay. This is a new material for us. What we are going to be doing is using a slab of clay. A slab is a piece of clay that's flat, like a pancake. First, we need to use this tool called a rib. It kind of looks like a shark fin. We're going to use the flat part of the rib to smooth out this slab or this flat piece of clay. So I'm going to go in all directions, up and down, side to side, and then I'm going to flip my piece of clay over and smooth it out on the other side too. You don't want to press down too hard, just pretty softly. Then you're going to take your mitten shape and we are going to take that mitten shape stencil to use to cut out our piece of clay. So watch what happens if I do not press all of the way down as I'm going around. Hmm, do you think it's going to cut it out all the way? Nope. So what I need to make sure that I do is that I push down all the way to the table with my wooden pointed stick tool. So I'm going to make sure I'm pushing down all the way to the table the whole time that I'm going around my mitten shape. Then, look, it worked. I cut it out. If it tears your paper underneath a little, that is okay. Don't worry about that. Then I'm going to take my finger or my thumb to smooth the edges because otherwise they will be super sharp later. So I am going to make sure that I smooth the sides with my finger or my thumb. Then I'm going to flip it over and I will smooth the other side. I'm going to make sure that all of my extra clay that I cut from my mitten is squished up into a ball so it stays pretty wet. Then I'm going to use some stamps to add what's called texture. Texture is a word for how something feels like bumpy, smooth, furry, fuzzy, there are a lot of different textures, so I'm adding some texture to my mitten by using these stamps. With my extra clay, I can add some details if I want also. So for this one, I'm going to add a coil or a long snake of clay. So I rolled it out and I'm going to add it onto my mitten. So how I add clay to clay is I must scratch and attach. See how I'm crisscrossing my scratches? Then I'm going to scratch on my other coil of clay as well. And I am going to connect those scratches kind of like Velcro, that is the glue of clay. Scratch and add water to attach. Those two will go together and I'll press them down a little bit. Then to clean up, I'm going to make sure that all of my tools are back in my bucket. So everything you use needs to be back in your bucket except the water. Then you're going to squish up any extra clay into a ball. Now you're going to write your name on a piece of paper that I will give to you and your teacher's name. And then you will put that on top of your mitten. After you do that, you are going to be all done. 